Hello everybody, my name is Russ. And I'm Carrie. And we are The Roads We Roam. This week we put out a poll on our YouTube channel asking people what they would like to see. A lot of people that ask for more of our daily life yeah. uh, activities. Yeah. So this week we are going to give you a sneak peek into that. So come roam the roads with us. Along these roads we roam, we find adventure through traveling, camping, boondocking, and exploring. If there's one thing I love is a good burger, but you can't always go out to a restaurant and get those burgers because your budget's gonna suffer if you do. But you also like grilling out with I your do. handy dandy new grill. Yeah, it's the Coleman Instastart grill. Woo, it is cheeseburger night and I love cheeseburger. To make this extra special, tonight we're gonna put some bacon on it, so it's bacon cheeseburger night. Have I told you how much I love my Coleman Instastart grill? This thing is awesome. I had the stoke, and I liked the stoke when there was no wind, but once there was wind, you couldn't cook on it anymore. It just, it would not cook. Um, this thing doesn't have that problem, so I'm so happy I traded my stoke in and got this. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a link down below as well. Uh, well worth the money. I think I spent like 89 bucks on it or something like that, but I absolutely love this thing. It is flippity flip time. Woo! You don't get much better than that. Maybe T-Rex, maybe, but uh, probably not. <laughs> As some of you may know, we are renovating our RV while we are living in it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we had to do is we had to clear out some of the space and we we're eliminating one of the sofas in the RV. Yeah. But we didn't have a convenient place to throw it. Where we're camping right now, we can't really throw it in the garbage dumpsters. Usually we'd like to recycle something like that by taking it to the thrift store. But up here in uh, West Yellowstone, there is no thrift store. So Carrie was talking to some of her coworkers and they had mentioned that there is a local dump in the area. Yeah, the transfer station is just four miles down the road. Hi, how are you? We got a uh, uh, couch that we wanna get rid of. Uh, we've never been here before, so we're being weighed in right now. And uh, we're gonna go dump our couch. So I guess what they're gonna do is weigh us in, dump the couch and what? then pending on the weight. What? Yes, sir. Depending on the uh, weight difference, that's how much we pay. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so yeah, that is the case here. We'll go dump what we got to dump, come back, they'll weigh us again, and depending on the uh, weight difference, that's how much we're charged. Hey, we get to find out how much we weigh. Oh yeah, I'm gonna ask him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Howdy, doing well. So we've got a, a little, uh, well, a couch that we wanna dump. He told me to speak to you to see where you wanted us to put it. It's ready. Oh, it's light, nice and light. Okay, I can get it from here. All right. Thank you. So Carrie brought up a good point. We got weighed when we came in. We're getting weighed again, so we really don't know how much we weigh, but now we shall. You go on this side? Oh, you're now we gotta go on this side. Can you tell me what the uh, total weight was when we dumped, after we dumped? I don't care about before. All right, so we were 16,360 pounds, and it was $4.75 to dump. Not bad. Heck, I'd have paid $4.75 just to know how, how much we weighed. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no lines, plenty no. of room. It was easy. Yep. Should have done that a while ago. So last week we had Mike's mobile and auto diesel repair come by and take a look at Boone because of the problems we've had. Mm -hmm. He diagnosed it and then this week he came over and fixed it. He was in and out in about two hours. We worried about having a class A or a class C, something that you live in that when you get repairs, what are we going to do? Where are we going to put the dogs? If it's, if it's a couple of days, where are we going to stay? We have to get a hotel. Mm -hmm. Well, this was real speedy, so we didn't have to worry about overnighting or anything like that. And the other part is he's mobile, so he came to us and we got to do our day to day. We were doing some video editing and some website pages mm -hmm. work while he was uh, working on the RV. 
And we even got an oil change to boot. Yes, we did. So while we were working on the renovation, I was painting this area and I pulled out a drawer so I could get better access to a certain area and I found a surprise. Yeah, she found a six stage reverse osmosis filtration system. Now we've been buying bottled water and lugging that with us everywhere. When we would do our Walmart runs, we'd come out with like 10 of them at a time and store them under the sofa and yep. that took a valuable storage space. What do you got? A reverse osmosis system. What? What are you talking about? All right, you know how we had the drinking water thing and I kept saying, I can't believe they installed something like that without putting in any type of filter system. Yeah, look at that. Couldn't find it anywhere. It was painting and look what I found. Now we just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> I know. So we had another storm here in West Yellowstone. These things pop up out of nowhere and sometimes they're pretty intense. Wendy, you see my hair blowing all over the place? Man, it feels nice out here right now. It's getting a little warm the last couple of days. But this storm came in some nice cool breezes. <laughs> a little more than breeze, but uh, yeah, this is nice. So one of the things that we struggle with is data. I think any digital nomad struggles mm -hmm. with data. Um, but we've been going to the library to upload. The library here in West Yellowstone has fantastic upload speeds. Uh, the problem was this Monday I had to upload a video and the library's closed on Mondays. All right guys, I'm at the library. It's Monday, so it's closed here in West Yellowstone. But I'm hoping they leave their Wi-Fi on because I got to upload a video for y'all. So let's see. I was hoping it would be open, but it wasn't. So I had to go to plan B. All right, so we're at Mount Mama's. They've got Wi-Fi here. I got myself a coffee and a couple of uh, pastries, and we're gonna upload for you guys. Part of our work camping includes our campsite, which we have talked about before, and it's really not in a traditional campground. It's at the front parking lot of an apartment <laughs> complex area, but it does provide a little patio area and a picnic table. Well, one morning I'm getting breakfast ready, and Abby just starts doing her little hoof, hoof yeah. at the door, so I look out the window, and there is this person just sitting at our picnic table, not even five feet from the door <laughs> of our rig. Look out the window. I have no idea who that is. You'd think with the flannel it was Carrie, but I swear she's sitting right over here. The flannel and the trucker's hat. Yeah, I think the problem was typically we have the picnic table closer to the rig, but I had shot a video where I needed the table further away from the rig, and I left it out there. It was right by the sidewalk, so I think she just thought it was a place to sit. I love it when Russ comes to pick me up from work <laughs> when I work the day shift. And I know this. Guys, I'm gonna walk down to Carrie's work and see if I can't talk her into going to the Outpost restaurant. We went there the other day. I got the BLT, which was fantastic, but she got this ham and cheese, uh, grilled ham and cheese, and that looked amazing. So I'm craving that right now. So I'm gonna see if she'll uh, go for it. We'll see. You can't, you have to try, right? You don't know unless you try. Plus, I can use the exercise. It's almost a mile down there and a mile back. Now look where we are. Where are oh, the outpost? We are at the outpost and I am going to try that grilled ham and cheese that Carrie got yesterday. It's so good she got it again. <laughs> so we'll let you guys see it here in just a second as soon as it comes out. I like it mainly for the bread. <laughs> for the bread? It's really good and they butter it a lot. Carrie, according to Carrie, the fries are very hot, so I'll let those sit for a second. This is what I wanted. Wow, that is very good. It is, I told you. Yes. See, you even said before, I should start ordering the things that you order because I always <laughs> want what you have. I know. And you finally did. I did. Apparently on Fridays, this place has an amazing clam chowder. Several of the locals have called it out. And today's Friday, Carrie and I didn't even think about it. So we might get some to go. Who knows, it might make an appearance on the uh, Friday Night Live tonight. Or not. <laughs> we'll see. A lot of you have been asking about Carrie's work camping experience. So I thought I'd go down with her one morning and film her getting ready to open up the shop.
when I was down there, she told me about this Jackson Hole root beer. Guys, I just tried this Jackson Hole bucking root beer. It is bucking good. I highly fucking recommend it. It is the best root beer I have ever had. I have to Hands agree. Down. Yeah, I have to agree. It's fantastic. I would have to say one of the trickiest things here is our mail delivery. Now, where I work, they allow me to have packages shipped there. However, with us doing the renovation, some of the packages are fairly big. So whether we had it shipped there or the post office mm -hmm. directly, uh, we still have to find a way to get it at least a half mile back to our rig. Yeah, and we could unhook the rig and drive it down there, but it almost seems like it's more hassle to unhook everything and drive down. Oh, for a half a mile, yes. Yeah. So we came up with an ingenious plan. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk down to Carrie's work. Um, we don't have a tow behind vehicle. We've got a fairly large package that we received. So uh, we're gonna balance it on Carrie's bike and walk it back the uh, mile back to the rig. Carrie's delivery service. <laughs> what are we doing? We are renovating the RV, so we're getting lots of large packages coming back and forth. So without a car, we're getting our workout. Where there's a will, there's a way. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like it, check out these playlists. And don't forget, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click that like button. That's all for this week. Bye.